mama and her baby. And over here is another mama's butt. You can't see her baby. And over there, there's the two daddies looking out. I'm not even 10 feet away from them, but I'm in the rig so they don't kill me for trying to scope out their little family. But isn't that adorable? I want you to see how close they are to the road as I drive by so you know when you come up here, you gotta be cautious. See, you can see the other cars coming in from the east entrance and then right here. Look at that. Look at that whole little family. Is that not beautiful? Beautiful. And those two just sitting up there, keeping a lookout so nobody can mess with them. Man, I love this life. Check this out. Huge waterfall. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's snowing a little bit. And then look. Look out over there. You gotta love this country. You gotta love your parks. They're, they have a saying, find your park. My park is the Grand Canyon because it's my home state and I love that park. But you just can't get enough of Yellowstone, the Grand Tetons, the Zion, and Bryce. That should be a commercial for national parks, especially because my photography is so generic. But anyway, look, you can see the rocks and trees that have fallen. And over there, there was some sort of slide maybe due to all the snow. And we're falling into the river. It's just beautiful. Steamboat is going off, just so you know. I've never been able to see a steamboat go off. It is the largest blast in Yellowstone National Park, but also the most unpredictable. Sorry I had to run out here to get this close to see it, but I am gonna keep going. But look how high up it goes. I think you can hear how loud it is. But the largest blast in Yellowstone, but unpredictable, so you can't always time it right. Here, you can see that? We're getting closer. You can actually feel the walkway rumble. Sorry I'm out of breath, but I ran to try and see this because I don't know how long it lasts or how often it happens. Because again, steamboats are unpredictable. I'm super freaking excited right now. But sorry, I'm out of breath and excited because this is a once in a lifetime. Old Faithful, somewhat predictable, and you can see all the time, but not so much. Steamboat, listen to that roar. Holy. Oh, there's people up here. Cool.
once in a lifetime. You can see. And I saw steamboat. And as you can see, I'm getting hit by the steam. And it's actually cold because when it hits the sky, the wave in there gets cold. But once in a lifetime, and I got to see steamboat. This makes my whole trip worth it. Check that out. Steamboat geyser. Steam hits me. It's wet, it's cold. It's freaking awesome. Just to see all these little white rocks, these are what Steamboat is shooting into the air. They land everywhere. It's pretty cool, but you can see how wet the trails got from Steamboat. And you can still feel all the way up here, uh, you're still getting hit by it. So it's over there, but it's not even, I don't even think I'm 10 yards from it. Going by football field yards because well that's what I know. And then there's the lower trail. And the steam's just moving along. Look at that. All the way out there. Alright, goodbye folks. I'll stop driving you crazy with this one. As I'm leaving steamboat. I'm passing people. And even there, now I don't feel so bad about being emotional because even they're emotional. They're like, we did it, we did it. Can you believe we did it? We made it to national to Yellowstone National Park and we saw steamboat erupt. Yes, once in a freaking lifetime. I don't even know how to make this be still. I'm out of breath again, because I'm hiking back out. It's cold as I'll get out out here. But steamboat, Yellowstone National Park, awesome. Here comes another late comer. Of all things to get to see on this trip, steamboat geyser, freaking awesome. Loving this life. Sorry, I look like a crybaby, but it's cold, there's steam, and no, these aren't tears. Here we go again, Bison right in the street. I don't even think he's 10 yards away, but I can't move my vehicle, so we'll just stay here and watch him for a moment, put on our hazards in case anybody comes up behind me from that construction. Oh, now there's another one in the middle of the... There's actually four in the middle of the street. One, two, three, four, five... Now five. Well, look at this guy. He's like right there. Hi, buddy. Oh, and it looks like he's older because his horn's down. Look, right next to the mirror. So now I can go a little bit. But then when I go a little bit, look at this guy. He's like coming right at me. <laughs> He's just walking right along. All right, these guys are all on the other side of the road. Let's see if I can unplug this and get a better view. Look at that. Oh, he's got fur patches missing. I'm leaving my mirror in the picture so you could actually see how close these guys are to me. I'm at Mary Bay in Yellowstone National Park. I'm slowly going by because there's a truck slowly going by. And the bison are freaking awesome. And then if you look out in front of me, oh, look at that. That's, first of all, that's freaking gorgeous. That is the lake. It is beautiful. But look at this guy. He was going straight, and now it looks like he's turning to go by me. I still have my hazards on for everybody. Look at that. Holy crap, you're huge. Oh my god, he's walking closer. There's another one. Yeah, buddy. Hello, Mr. Bison Man. You've got a little beard going. And then look. They go back in front of me. And they're just sitting right in the road. It's like even they don't want to be in the snow. Oh, holy cow. That looks like they're all walking towards me. Bye, Mr. Bison. Let's take your picture. Alright, those guys got off the road. 
now there's this big guy. He hasn't got off the road. Look at how huge they are. These guys all got off the road. You are amazing. Look at that. Stunningly beautiful. I believe this one is Lake Mary. I'm taking a different exit from Yellowstone than I've ever taken before. I'm taking the east entrance, east exit into Cody, Wyoming. So it's a little bit different. I've entered and exited West Yellowstone. I've entered and exited Garner, Montana. And I've entered and exited through the south, which is the Grand Tetons, which is the easiest way from Arizona. But that wasn't open this year until the 10th. Look at that. Gorgeous. Holy cow. And then if you look down, there's actually a cauldron down there going into the ocean. That is beautiful. Holy cow. Sometimes you just can't get enough of what you see. You just can't. Beautiful. Alright, I'll stop with the nonsense. I know. Everybody doesn't find this all as exciting as I do. So this is cool. This is called the Avalanche Zone. And it's a 7% grade. It's going to convert into a 10% grade. But there's no stopping the next 1.5 miles because it's literally the Avalanche Zone. This is crazy. Nobody tell my mom I'm driving on the Avalanche Zone. It might just kill her. But it's beautiful out here. As you can see, there's no snow on the roads. They've done a great job clearing them up, but just beautiful. I am in, I'm still in Yellowstone National Park. I'm headed towards the east entrance. So the, yeah, that's still Wyoming, but avalanche zone in freaking incredible. Beautiful, beautiful out. And I'll lie, I decided I should probably record a little more of this for everybody. So you can actually see part of where some rocks have fallen. out there and this is like some pretty deep snow on the sides of the road some of it looks maybe one to two feet high but up in the mountains which I didn't record over by the lake because I'm like ah everybody sees that I only chose to record here because it is the avalanche zone and they say that there's little avalanches daily through here pretty cool anyway bye